How was it that I happened to be at that local Madison bar on Washington Street during that summer night of 1986? The music reviewer for a local campus newspaper, Mike Barron, was looking for new material, such as the band that was playing that night, and I was encouraged to take along. That night, a four-piece rockabilly pop band was celebrating their album release party, their first, before a capacity crowd that was warmed up long before anyone took the stage. So here's what I remember about that night. I remember songs so unique and catchy that they buzzsawed through whatever expectations I had for this local band trying to attract notice. Their name was E-I-E-I-O, and they were more than the real deal. If they weren't, then the memories of 40 years later would have diminished long ago. The album they were celebrating, Land of Opportunity, had not a single song not worthy of chart-climbing success. I don't see pure magic that often in life. People that know me will tell you that easily. But that night I did. All coming from the stage and the riotous crowd that was clearly as overwhelmed as I was. The singer, always the guy front and center, was a handsome, youthful person with a startling, unique voice, seemingly custom-made for the kind of material they produced. I was stunned by this vocalist, Steve Summers, and after all this time, still am. This real deal never ascended to the precipice of high success that they easily could have had. But it also means they avoided the insanity that fame forces upon bands like them. It seems to overtake every band that wants that number one blasting through their car radio. That old Chinese sediment of wish fulfillment may have somehow intervened before the damage could have taken place. To me, that band, E-I-E-I-O, had already made every number one chart position from the time I saw them on stage that night. It's very rare not to have dashed expectations with most local bands trying to make it. Like a pop fly that, that is hit so high, it moves beyond our sight. E-I-E-I-O songs still seem to linger in that stratosphere. When you had the talent these four guys had, that ball is still hovering comfortably in the sky.